Yo YouTube, what is going on everybody? Welcome to today's video where we are here back on MC Hub Minecraft Prisons. Hope you guys are all having an absolutely amazing day today. Hey, real quickly, if you guys are new here, make sure you like and subscribe. But guys, I've been doing a ton of off-camera grinding and uh, yeah, I mean, take a look at my balance right now. We are currently at 3.25 million e-tokens right now. So I've been trying to save up some e-tokens because I want to be doing a ton of upgrades to my pickaxe. But the one thing I have noticed is that actually my up upgrade for my pickaxe like leveling it up is extremely slow i don't remember it being this slow so like comment down below if you guys know if mc hub if they like upped like how long it takes to get to like level three or whatever because honestly like i've grinded for a pretty solid amount of time and i'm not even at 50 percent yet so who knows guys we still have a lot of grinding to do and we will be doing it but yeah right now you guys see my inventory right now i legit have so many crate keys that we are just gonna go in and open real quick so i actually right here have um i think i have two lobster keys and then the rest are vote keys i got two lobsters so we're gonna go and open those here but let's go ahead and open the vote keys first right now so here we go i'm just gonna quit <laughs> of course we get more vote oh my gosh we are getting so many vote keys right now okay let me just go ahead let's just open these ideally right now Ooh, beacons i want beacons right now that's probably the easiest way for us to get some more e-tokens or large e-token pouches like that Ooh, another lobster god this is actually a pretty good crate key opening another lobster crate what the heck is going on and then another vote key oh my gosh dude we are literally getting infinite keys right now what the heck is going on okay final vote key okay we got a ton of actually really good stuff in there i'm not too sure what the large e tokens give us where is it okay uh, oh only 142,000. that's nothing crazy the large beacon could be very useful though that could be 6,000 beacons that would be very useful because we could go in and sell those and that would make our lives a little bit easier upgrading our pickaxe so hopefully you get to do that and then right here we do have the lobster crate key let's just go ahead hope this goes good okay hey we got a dolphin yo our what is our luck today what the heck okay this is actually crazy okay we're, hopefully we get robots i really want robots right now i don't oh we can get robots in the lobster crate we got two lobster what is going on yo this is the craziest luck i've ever okay boom gravel robot but this is easily the, the craziest luck i've ever had opening these crate keys before okay here we go let's just continue oh my gosh we are getting so many lobster oh, dude okay here we go and okay another gravel there we go i mean hey at least we were able to go ahead and get robots right now um the two gravels will actually be useful let's just go ahead well actually dude, let's do the dolphin crate key real quick and then we'll go ahead and place our gravels and see what those will make us but here we go dolphin crate key leave a like for good luck right now i mean ideally we get two dolphin keys or a shark key make our way all the way up to a shark key that would be crazy okay here we go open it up and of course a medium beacon i'm not going to complain about the beacons though because like i did just mention we can sell beacons so you know it could be a good thing could be a bad thing because right now my number one priority is getting as much e tokens so i can just invest them into our pickaxe now we did just go ahead and get two gravel robots let's just go ahead and throw these into our robots right here let's just right click right here oh okay here are the robots area and let's put you there and you there. So if you take a look at our robots now, our gravel robot, we have two of them. I don't know how much these are going to make us. It looks like it's, <laughs> it's going to make us 50,000 tokens a week. Pretty much nothing. Gravel is just very... Actually, wait. But can we combine these two gravel into stone? I actually think we can. Yeah, we can combine robots. Okay, so let's just go ahead and turn the gravel into one stone. And that means... There we go. Boom. We got a stone robot now. And we're going to make 61,000 e-tokens a week. So that's not bad. I probably will end up selling that stone robot to someone. I'm going to go ahead and look in for end shop but right here someone is buying beacons right now so let's see this is my goal right now so go ahead and do this and we can sell our stone robot for mill ah yeah that's that's worth it I'm, I'm gonna sell that that is worth it to go ahead and sell that okay this person is gonna we're gonna sell our stone robot for a mill actually let me see if i made a mistake how much are they buying gravels for five okay no we didn't make a mistake so let's sell our stone robot this thing to make a million e-tokens is just not gonna happen so we got a million there and now if we go ahead and open all of these let's go ahead and let me find all my beacons just gonna real quickly go ahead and continue opening all these right now we got so many boosters we also got crystals which you could go ahead and salvage for beacons so we're actually like getting a pretty solid amount of money stuff right now so this should be good we should actually have a decent amount of change going into this and we still have these crystals right here so yeah i'm actually not complaining right now we're just gonna go ahead and salvage these or salvage all i believe it is boom there we go so we just made 1300 beacons right there so that's i think i think he's selling it this person is buying beacons 1000 for 5 million e tokens so we've already made 5 million right there but we have a lot more beacon pouches right here we have two right here but let's go ahead and open the e token pouches first because i want to see you know what how many e tokens are we gonna get at our base because i want to spend a ton like i did just mention on jackhammer on our pickaxe and we got literally horrible e-token open proc rates right there yeah jackhammers we're going to be spending all our money here very soon so hopefully we could get some decent stuff so here we go beacons wise please bring me in some money the medium oh, 600 okay 
And then finally, we definitely have a minimum 10 mil e-tokens we're going to get. Here we go. Let's just go ahead, right click it. Come on. If, if this thing gets six, we make 30 million. Okay. You know what? That's not bad. That's actually not that bad. That's like 20 million e-tokens right there that we are going to get. I'm not going to complain right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just withdraw like a thousand of these right there. Bada bing, bada boom. We have ourselves a thousand beacons and we're just going to go ahead and sell it to this shop. I'm pretty sure this is like probably the most competitive price we could get right now. Um, But yeah, I'm not complaining. This is actually not that bad at all. So let's just go ahead and start selling these and uh, yeah here we go boom there we go there's five million e-tokens let's just continue doing this boom and this might be stupid because like in a day from now these things will probably sell for like five times more but like right now we need the coins to go ahead and do it so um yeah boom there we go we are at 25 million e-tokens right now Whew. that is uh that is some progress we have made already in this video that's actually really good though that's strictly all from voting and the best part about it is you guys could go ahead and log on and do this too just vote and then sell it to end shop makes it simple and makes it easy but okay now that we've done that, we could go ahead and head over to my P mine right now because um, I want to kind of give you guys a baseline with what we are doing with my pickaxe. So if I go ahead and just like mine around for a little, and this is just at my mine, it's not upgraded. I've been grinding at other people's mines, but like we get like it looks like a hundred e tokens right here mining, and I don't know, my inventory is full, backpacks all messed up. Let's we'll dispose of everything. Okay, you guys see it. We're, we're not making the craziest amount. And the biggest thing, I, actually, let's just go ahead and go to someone's P mine and test this out. Okay, boom. So right now we're at Quirky Cat's P mine right here, and if I go ahead and grind this right now. We just made 10,000 e-tokens right there. Okay, we're making a decent amount right now. 12,000. So it looks like our kind of base is around that 10 to 12,000 right here. Looks like that. Is, yeah, about 12,000 e-tokens is what we are making every time we get a sale here, which is not bad at all. You know, that's going to help us grind out a ton. But the biggest issue is right now, we are currently only working with our fortune enchant. And obviously we have jackhammer. If you guys didn't know, if you're new to MC prisons or anything, the best enchant to do after you do fortune is 100 billion percent jackhammer. It's going to make scaling and all that a lot easier. So yeah, pretty much what we're just going to do is uh, just max it out right now. Jackhammer essentially just drills a hole in the mine. The depth increases as you level it up. It's really simple and really easy. And it's actually a really fun enchant. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just go to this. And literally all we have to do is press Q. And we are going to spend about 24 million E tokens on upgrading our jackhammer. Now, right now it's level zero. I don't have a single upgrade on it. Um, So I'm just going to press Q on it. And boom, there we go. Okay, there we go. Jackhammer level 244. Now, realistically, this isn't going to have the craziest impact. I mean, it's 0.03. I don't even know if we're going to actually end up seeing it proc in this video. But the thing is, is like we have to work on getting our jackhammer up regardless. And if it does end up proccing, we will end up making so many e-tokens from it. So it overall kind of just works together. Just right now, we do need to go ahead and just continue grinding all these e-tokens and everything or else it like kind of useless and whatnot. But again, the best way to do it is something that's about to come up and it's the strategy that I was doing before I started this video. You guys are at notice in the tab thing here in the sidebar scoreboard. It says next reward. Reward. And at 452 blocks from now, which should not be too long. I'm just mining real quick. We will go ahead and get a shiny treasure. And that shiny treasure, we could actually go ahead and end up selling it to a specific end shop. And right now, I mean, I was selling them earlier for, I think, around like 500,000 e-tokens per. And you get these every 5,000 blocks. So it's it's kind of worth it, in my opinion. Boom, here's the shiny treasure. And boom, right here, here's the shop I did last season. They still have it. I just do end shop, open bolstered. Uh, and they have shiny treasures going for a mil right now. So we're just going to go ahead, boom, sell it. And we just made a million e-tokens tokens there let's freaking go uh, obviously it's not the craziest amount we still have a long way to go because if we press q on this i think that's only going to get us that got us six levels right there which isn't horrible we're at level 250 now on jackhammer which is actually a pretty big dub to be honest yeah we still have like a long way to go we need to go ahead and get this jackhammer enchant uh yeah, like, ideally to like i think it's 20,000 you get it max too so we have, a, we have a long way to go but we'll end up getting there so yeah guys that's kind of my progress here on mc prisons um i wanted to do this video to show you guys jackhammer kind of where we're going next episode we should be able to already start on the tier three and chance i'm gonna be grinding a ton off camera so hopefully we are able to do that but guys i am gonna go ahead and end off today's video here on mc prisons mc hub so if you guys did enjoy it make sure you leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one and until then bye bye